congratulations on your honor here tonight, uh, 40 Under 40 Awards, and tell us uh, what do you think are some of the qualities that have propelled you to, um, to this position here tonight? It's a tough question. Uh, I think the qualities would have to be um, dedication and perseverance. I'm the first Flex Time Equity partner at White and Case, uh, and I think I achieved that level of success so far because I've been dedicated uh, to what I to what I do to client service, uh, and I I like my job, <laughs> and I think that came through in the application. Yeah, so perseverance is a big part of the ball game nowadays, given the uh, environment here, right? Absolutely, you never know what's about to happen uh, in the economy. Certainly, the debt ceiling talks are a testament to that. Every day is a cliffhanger. Sure. What do you see as some of the biggest challenges in M&A and finance at the moment? You know, I think a big challenge facing M&A right now is companies are hesitant. They don't really know what to do. A lot of companies, rather than investing their funds as they normally would, are retaining their profits. The public companies are buying back their own stock, kind of shoring up assets, trying to wait and see what's going to play out in the market. And of course, financial regulation's been a big part of what's been going on the last year, and it's still coming together. Uh, how's that impacted things for you? Not very much, I have to say. You know, a lot of people are talking about uh, say on pay as a big obstacle logistically uh, to what's going on in the M&A market. I, I don't see that, and I think a lot of lenders are coming back uh, and lending money. So I think we'll have to see ultimately how much risk banks are willing to take out in light of the new regulations. Is the financial crisis over as far as you're concerned? I think we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I don't think it can. I don't think anyone can say it's over until a level of confidence comes back in the economy that just isn't there yet. Carolyn, congratulations again, and thanks very much for stopping and sharing your insights with us here this evening. Thank you.